vaping is getting uber popular because a lot of people think it's healthier than smoking. Yeah, because we're not sucking in burning flames. Yeah, you're not. But does that mean it's healthier? Um, yes. You're exactly right. Well, kind of. Not really. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. Most people smoke cigarettes to ingest the chemical nicotine because they're addicted to it. Some people smoke cigarettes to de-stress or look cool, but mostly it's just because they're addicted. Anyway, the nicotine is released by burning tobacco and the nicotine acts like caffeine and makes you more alert. And it releases dopamine to lift your mood. But the problem with smoking cigarettes is that the research shows that, well, they kill you. The smoke itself sends partially combusted chemicals into your body and puts tar in your lungs and it also blackens teeth and it smells gross. And cancer. Don't forget the cancer. Yeah, that. So the thing with vaping is that it doesn't burn tobacco like cigarettes. It heats the tobacco to a controlled temperature so there's much less smoke and it often uses a liquid solution of water, nicotine, a base and flavorings. So less smoke means vaping is less bad? Generally speaking, studies from the UK and Europe, links in the description as always, suggest that vaping is over 90% healthier than smoking. But the thing is, there's other factors to consider. With vaping, manufacturers are now introducing new things that aren't present in cigarettes, like propylene glycol. Propylene glycol isn't in cigarettes, but it is in vaping fluid. It's used as a base to dilute the nicotine and help it vaporize consistently. But it also can cause irritation to the eyes and lungs. And flavorings which mean you can make vaping fluid in all sorts of new flavors like green apple and Coca-Cola and cinnamon. But getting these flavors means using chemicals like diacetyl and cinnamonaldehyde. Both aren't great if inhaled in large doses. So which flavors are safe to vape? Well, we haven't had a chance to study them all yet because so many new flavors are coming onto the market. So we're not exactly sure potentially risky. And because we haven't had very long to study vaping, the early research is often conflicting. For example, this year, the American Association for the Advancement of Science, probably one of the most reliable science sources in the whole world, profiled three studies that suggest vaping may actually be worse than smoking. One study looked at the DNA of smokers versus the DNA of vapors. They looked at almost 600 genes that are known to protect our body, fight infection, and ward off cancer. In smokers, 53 of these genes were depressed, which is one of the reasons why smokers are more prone to cancer. Their cancer-fighting genes were turned off. But in people who vape, it was 358 genes that were affected. So at a genetic level, maybe vaping could be more damaging than cigarettes. A second study in mice showed vapors led to hyperactivity and scientists are exploring the connection between vaping and mental illness. A third study of mice showed far lower sperm counts in the mice who had been exposed to vapors from e-cigarettes. These are just links that have been observed. They've only been established by correlation, not causation, and the studies are brand new, so we haven't had a chance to reproduce them. So to vape or not to vape? Well, I guess it's up to you what your risk tolerance is. The best science we have available suggests vaping is definitely more dangerous than not smoking at all. So if you're a non-smoker who buys like paraben-free toothpaste and GMO-free food because you're worried they have freaky chemicals that haven't been tested enough, then you definitely shouldn't be vaping. But if you crave delicious, delicious nicotine and you're looking for a healthier alternative to smoking, then switching to e-cigarettes might be an option to consider. Maybe. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching SciQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.